Welcome to CX Insider Mobile Edition. I'm your host, Bill Lawler, and today we'll be discussing how understanding user context is driving the future of mobile. My guest is Julie Ask, Vice President and Principal Analyst, eBusiness and Channel Strategy at Forrester. Those who are able to truly capture, analyze, and understand context are the ones who will be able to reap the benefits of mobile. Julie, I guess my first question is, how do you define mobile context? So there's three broad categories of context at Forrester for mobile. The first is situation, so the current location, altitude, and speed the customer is experiencing. One really good use of context that I've seen is with State Farm Insurance. They offer an application that turns off text messaging if it knows that the user is driving a car, so they're going over a certain number of miles per hour, so really based on their speed. And I think that's a great example of how a company is using context or situational context, so to speak. Uh, The second category of context is what we refer to as preferences. So this is the history and the personal decisions that the customer has shared with you. Uh, I think a really good example of this is if we think of someone like an Amazon or a lot of retailers. On one hand, they can see your shopping history and they can make recommendations to you. On some of the sites where they have flash sales, you may have also said, you know, these are the kinds of things that I'm interested in. And when those things come up for sale or there's a special deal, they're going to push out some kind of a notification for you. The third category of context that we think about is attitudes, so the feelings or emotions that are implied by the customer's actions and logistics. One good example that I think we're going to see actualized even here in 2012 is with the airlines. Um, For those of you who travel, if you can imagine I live on the West Coast and I've flown to the East Coast for a day or two days and I'm trying to get home on Friday evening. If my flight is canceled or it's delayed substantially, the airline can probably guess that I'm somewhere between very frustrated and angry that I'm not getting home on a Friday night. And they need to take that into account when thinking about how to, you know, work with me or how to deal with me through mobile services on my device. In your report, you've stated consumers will embrace new products and services if they are fundamentally more convenient. I guess that leads me to my next question. How do you create a convenient mobile experience, and how does context fit into that? Forrester considers a product or a service to be convenient if the sum of the benefits outweigh the sum of the inhibitors. Typical inhibitors in mobile include things like owning a smartphone, which may be expensive, the cost of a data plan, discovering and downloading an application, maybe some of the common inhibitors. The benefits in mobile are threefold. The first is immediacy. There needs to be some kind of value in having information now, being able to take care of something now. So there's got to be some kind of value in immediacy. One very easy example is in retail. If you look at companies like a Target or a Steep and Cheap that have expiring deals, you know, that deal is only going to be good for an hour or there's only 25 of this item available. You know, act now or you lose out on an opportunity. So that's the first, immediacy and then the value of having information now or being able to take care of something now. The second category is simplicity. You know, what's easy to do? Sometimes simplicity is implemented in mobile through being very selective with what kinds of content. Sometimes simplicity is implemented through the design of the mobile service. One example would be in banking. Accessing account information is fairly easy. You know, I log in, there's a username, a password. Exchanging that information is very quick. Doing something like filling out a mortgage application would be very time-consuming and unwieldy on mobile devices, as most of us know the experience today. So that second category is simplicity. And then the third benefit that defines convenience in mobile is really this use of context. And what we mean by that is, is how do you use context to simplify my experience or make it easier or faster for me to complete a task on my mobile device? The best use of context or the most common use of context that we see, for example, is location. Whether I'm on a consumer site or even something like Google Search, and if I do a search, let's say, for In-N-Out Burger, you know, I probably don't want every In-N-Out Burger in the U.S., but I want the In-N-Out Burger locations that are close to me or close to perhaps someplace I'm going to be around lunchtime. So we see the use of context today is mostly around location, but going forward it will include time, It will include a lot of other information that's gathered from sensors in the phone, and it will evolve into being something very, very sophisticated that will make it very easy and very convenient for me to get stuff done on my phone. So, Julie, in terms of context, where do companies draw the line between creepy and convenient? 
So I don't think companies have really drawn the line yet between creepy and convenient. I think companies are going to have to be very, very careful when they think about how they're going to use contextual information that they have about their customer base when delivering mobile services. If they get it wrong, their customer base is going to think they're creepy. And if they get it right, their customers are going to say, like, wow, that's awesome. That was really helpful. You know, I love doing business with this company. And there isn't really a line that's black and white. I think it's very much a gray area today. Uh, It's going to take experimentation. It's going to take learning. And companies are really going to have to create some new paradigms for mobile. When I talk to a lot of companies today about contextual information, the first thing that a lot of companies think about is targeting. You know, how do I use targeting to do marketing to sell more stuff? And companies really need to shift into a consumer-first mindset where they're really thinking about How do I use this contextual information to simplify the process of completing tasks on the phone? And that has to be first and foremost, and not how do I use it to create more targeted marketing to sell more stuff. Julie, thanks again for joining us. Um, This has really been great. Tea Leaf can help companies capture and understand the context of how their customers are engaging with them on mobile devices. Understanding and implementing elements of mobile context help companies deliver on the best possible user experience. With Tea Leaf CX Mobile, you can see that experience through the eyes of your customer, ensuring a useful, engaging, and properly functioning experience. Thanks for joining us today. For more information or to request a meeting, please visit tealeaf.com.